Peace, peace, peace. This is your humble hip-hop sales coach, Tiger Toledo. And you already know what it is, man. You rocking with the best. You heard? Good morning, champions. Good morning. What a beautiful Tuesday it is, wherever you are around the world. Hey, you know we got to do the gratitude exercise, man. So name three things you're grateful for, man. Let's start the day right. Let's start the day in a way that you are grateful, man. What are you grateful for? I'm grateful for my kids, my wife, my tenacity to kick ass every day. And I'm grateful for having good health and being able to do what I got to do to achieve greatness. Name three things you're grateful for. Drop it in the comment section. So I wanted to jump in today and talk about why being a perfectionist is a bad thing. Why being a perfectionist is a bad thing. Check it, man. For a long time, I had considered myself to be a perfectionist, right? The problem with being a perfectionist is that the light never turns green. Meaning, just like if you're driving a car, you're waiting for the green light to go. When you're a perfectionist, that light never turns green, man. It's always yellow or red. Yellow or red. So, I had a chance, I don't know if you guys had a chance to see those, uh, this, I think it was called Defiant Ones. It was about Jimmy Iovine. <coughs> Excuse me. It was, uh, with Jimmy Iovine and Dr. Dre uh, speaking about their ventures because of how they were, you know, business partners and stuff like that. And Dr. Dre is considered to be a perfectionist in what he does, right? So what was interesting is Jimmy Iovine was talking about Dr. Dre. What up, Kelvin? Jimmy Iovine was talking about Dr. Dre and said, you know, the only problem I have with Dr. Dre is that he's a perfectionist. He's a perfectionist to the point where Dr. Dre never pulls the trigger. So you ask yourself, right? Since the Chronic album, Dr. Dre was supposed to release the album called Detox. He never released it. Why did he never release it? Because he always felt like it was subpar. It was not up to his standards. It wasn't perfect. Therefore, he never released another album ever since, 20 years later. I got a buddy right now that's been working on his mixtape for the last 12 years and has not, has not recorded one single. Why? Because he deems himself as a perfectionist. There's never the right beat. There's never the right energy. The ambiance wasn't right. Uh, the, the sun wasn't shining bright enough. Being a perfectionist can hurt you and hurt your business. I don't know if you guys remember that, that comedian. He's a funny-ass comedian from England called Mr. Bean. Mr. Bean. I saw a documentary with Mr. Bean because he's one of my favorite comedians. He is funny as shit. And they said, they asked him a question. They said, man, what is... What is one thing that you wish you can change about yourself? He said, I wish I could change being a perfectionist or trying to be perfect at everything. Every routine that he would try to do, he would try to... He has an image in his head of the way it's supposed to look, and that's fine. But when you begin to beat yourself up or delay a project or never pull the trigger and take action because you're trying to perfect whatever the craft is that you're trying to do, it enables you, it, 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 it harms you from moving forward. It harms you from taking that step forward. For a long time, I felt like I was the only one that could do what I needed to do. I didn't trust anybody to... Uh, you know, build websites or graphic designs and stuff like that, or do my marketing. 
and I felt like I was the smartest person in that room. And it wasn't until I did some teachings with uh, Dr. Boyce Watkins that he explained that you do not want to be the bottleneck of your company. And that's what I was becoming because I felt like I was the only one that can do it and do it right. And there's, there's way smarter people than I am. There's way smarter people than I am that could do the job 10 times better than I can. So what I began to start doing is delegating more. Delegating, delegating more. <clears throat> shout out to the web designer that I connected with that went to Harvard. Big shout outs to you. You already know who you are, man. Um, shout outs to my new graphic designer who also does uh, 3D visualization. We about to we about to turn up. What up, Nathan? I see you doing your thing with that real estate, brother. Keep doing your thing, brother. So, so I started to outsource more stuff, right? I started to delegate more stuff. Whatever I I deem to be a ten dollar job or or ten dollar um, job duties, I would give that to my assistant. Hey, you do that. You follow up with this. You send these emails out. You do this. You do that. Because there are people that do the job better than you. If they are looking for a job, give them that job to do. Give them the job to to work on your, be a web designer. Don't try to learn that shit like I did. I'm, look, man, I'm nice. I'm real nice with building websites. I'm nice with marketing. I'm the shit when it comes to sales. But I can't do it all. In order for my business to grow at scale, I have to hire new people. And a perfectionist has a very hard time hiring somebody because he always feels like nobody can do that job better than him or her. So, scale back on being a perfectionist and begin to take action more. Because for a perfectionist, again, the light never turns green. The, grind, the, the light is always yellow and it's always red. And you cannot progress if it's all, you're always on caution or you're always on stop. At some time, you have to pull the trigger and the light has to turn green. You'll never pull out of that driveway if you're waiting for all the lights to turn green. So, that's my tidbit for today. This is your humble hip-hop sales coach, Tiger Toledo. Hey, go to YouTube, fly over there, scoot over there, skip over there, and subscribe to my channel. Hit the post notifications. Share this uh, video if you feel it's worthy of sharing, you know. And uh, holla at your boy, man. This is your boy, Tiger Toledo, signing out. Peace and love to you and your family for the rest of the day. You heard?